Hello, friends. Welcome to Afghanistan's largest project, New Kabul City, where the effects of construction activities can be seen at every angle. This extensive project addresses a dynamic world of work and investments and is attracting the attention of domestic and foreign businessmen. With more than 1,500 people employed directly and 2,500 people indirectly, the first phase of this project is progressing rapidly. This modern Japanese designed city, originally intended to build modern and expensive homes, but by cutting costs, it now allows you to easily experience affordable homes. Over the next five years and the implementation of various phases, this new city will reach a complete and diverse transformation where the construction plans will be completed in 15 years and the infrastructure will be ready for a population of 4 million people. As you can see, this is the real face of the new Kabul city, that people are working and some of this block has been built and is still working. Here is the first phase of this project, which is being built by thousands of people. Foreign and domestic businessmen are investing in this city, and people are buying land and houses. Currently, more than 1,500 people are working directly in the first phase of the new Kabul City project, and more than 2,500 people are working indirectly. The cost of the first phase of this project is about $1 billion. This city was planned and designed by Japan. Initially, the houses of the new Kabul city were supposed to be built by companies in a very modern and expensive way. But its cost reached $80 billion. Due to the cost of this project, it was reduced to $7 billion, which people could not buy houses for such an expensive amount. The first phase of this project will take about five years to complete. This means that the new Kabul city is divided into four phases. Each phase of this project must be completed within five years. In total, the construction of this city will be completed in 15 to 20 years. This city will be built on 370,000 acres of land, which will have a capacity of 4 million people and about 1 million houses are going to be built in this city. The design and construction of the new city of Kabul is tied to solving the problems and aspirations of millions of Afghan citizens in the country's capital. For a long time, various theories have been examined to get out of the crisis of the rapid growth of population, housing, and urban infrastructure, the increase in unemployment, and the ever-increasing waste of the environment in the city of Kabul. The results of various studies indicated balancing the existing urban density in Kabul and dividing the population through urban development around it. This led to the creation of an independent group for the development of the new city of Kabul in 2006 based on the decree of the High Authority of the Islamic Republic of Afghanistan. In the first step, this group approved the areas of Des Sabs, which were previously proposed by various Afghan and foreign experts for the new city, and after preliminary studies, the Barikab area was added as an agricultural commercial area. The project of the new city of Kabul will have all the facilities of today's evening, and with the start of this project, along with providing work and business to a large number of citizens of the country, the congestion in the current city of Kabul will also be greatly reduced. It is said that all the documents related to the fields of this project have been carefully checked and usurpation and corruption have been prevented. The new cable project is designed in four phases, the first phase of which is considered in five sections, and the construction of the second section has already started. It should be mentioned that the work of the second part of the first phase of the new Kabul project is being carried out by a private construction company under the supervision of the Ministry of Urban Development and Housing, and thousands of people are provided direct and indirect jobs. The new city of Kabul is located in the area north of the current city of Kabul, which includes all the areas of Desabs and Shakardara districts, and part of the areas of Karabag, Stalf, and Kalkan districts, as well as the narrow water area of Bagram district of Parwan province. 
the price of each residential unit in this city is estimated at 100,000 U.S. dollars, and $20 billion are supposed to be used for the infrastructure and public facilities of this city. The cost of building the new city of Kabul was estimated by the previous government of Afghanistan at $80 billion. But the Taliban government says the cost of this city is $7 billion. This city will be built on 740 square kilometers of land, which is equal to 370,000 acres of land, and its size is approximately 1.5, one and a half times larger than the current city of Kabul. Kabul, the capital of Afghanistan, has had a turbulent history. This city was formed in the past with a limited population and simple infrastructure. But during wars and social anomalies, the number of population increased drastically, and the city faced challenges due to population density, lack of infrastructure, and economic problems. In order to face these challenges and improve the quality of life of citizens, the new Kabul City Project has been proposed as a major development project. The main goal of the new Kabul City Project is to create a modern and orderly urban center with all the modern facilities. This project is designed to improve urban infrastructure, reduce population density, create job opportunities, and improve living conditions of citizens. New Kabul City is divided into four phases. The first phase of this project includes commercial facilities, housing, green and recreational spaces, and basic infrastructure. This phase is currently being implemented and due to the progress made, it is expected to be operational in the near future. One of the important aspects of this project is the participation of the private sector in its implementation. This partnership improves the quality of project implementation, creates job opportunities, and realizes common development goals. Also, it shows positive interaction and cooperation between different economic sectors and the government. The new city of Kabul is located in the northern region of the current city of Kabul and covers a large area of land. With the completion of this project, it will be possible to create a more balanced population density, improve urban infrastructure, and develop irregular urban areas. In addition to creating job opportunities and improving living conditions, the new Kabul City project is also considered as a symbol of Afghanistan's progress and development. The successful implementation of this project will not only help to improve urban conditions, but will also play an important role in realizing the development and economic goals of the country. With the passage of time and the progress of the new Kabul City project, it is expected that this city will show an example of smart and sustainable urban planning. By creating a new city with modern designs and different spaces for housing, business, and recreation, the population density in Kabul City will decrease. This improves the quality of life of citizens. By creating suitable commercial and recreational spaces in the new city of Kabul, it becomes possible to create new business and business opportunities for people and businesses. This economic development will lead to increased income and social welfare. The new Kabul City project is equipped with modern and complete infrastructure assets that include electricity, water and sewage networks, communication and transportation. In addition to improving living conditions, these infrastructures will also help attract more investments. Appropriate design of green spaces, parks, and recreational places in the new city of Kabul helps to improve the air quality of the city and improve the environment. This gives importance to the health and well-being of citizens. By transferring part of the population and urban activities to new areas, the problems caused by urban density such as traffic, pollution, and social anomalies will be reduced. Considering that the new Kabul city is located in the northern region of the current Kabul city, it will also improve the possibility of developing irregular and less developed areas of the city. The new Kabul city project will not only help to change the physical shape of the city, but will also help to achieve social, economic, and environmental goals. This project is an example of cooperation between the government, the private sector, and society in order to develop and improve people's living conditions. We hope that with the successful implementation of this project, the new city of Kabul will become a symbol of Afghanistan's capabilities and possibilities in the field of development and will become achievements for the better future of this country. Thank you for watching so far. Please subscribe to this channel. Bye until the next video.